Olivia Jade has officially been eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. Hey guys, welcome back to another Dancing with the Stars update. We have the latest on what went down during last night's double elimination, but before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm your host, Gianna Gravelisi, joined by the amazing Zachary Reality. Zach, you and I have both been so invested in Dancing with the Stars this season, texting each other all night, making TikToks. Any initial thoughts on last night's episode overall? Last night was so intense, and we knew it was going to be intense because the double elimination was coming. There hasn't been a double elimination in a minute, so we knew this was going to be a big deal, especially with only two weeks left of the show. So I was just so like excited about it. I could not stop thinking about it. And I think that the episode delivered in regards to like the drama and the dance, but I don't know if I was super happy with the outcome. I completely agree with you. I mean, we're getting to the now semi-finals. I feel like the season has flew by. So last night I was on the edge of my seat completely. I was sweating because none of these couples are performing bad, you know? Everyone is so good and the stakes were so high. So let's just dive right into what happened. So last night, the couples danced it out to classic hits by Janet Jackson. Stakes were so high as a double elimination would determine which couples are dancing in the semifinals. Olivia and Val danced an Argentine tango to Anytime, Any Place. She actually revealed that this was a full circle moment for her since her dad appeared in one of Janet Jackson's music videos in the 90s before Olivia was even born. She then went on to say that her and her dad have always been so close and she got into dancing because of him. They would dance at family parties, events, and even just all around the house together. Now, I thought this routine was perfect, but the judges had some other thoughts. Harry Ann said that she wanted to see more heat. Len hated the table that they ended up using throughout the dance. Derek loved her sense of joy, and Bruno wanted to see more passion. They ended up scoring a 36 out of 40, which isn't bad, but it put them at the bottom of the leaderboard for the night. Zach, I know that you and I are on the same page when it comes to Olivia. We have been rooting for her. So do you agree or disagree with what the judges had to say about her and Val's dance? I mean, I think that the table was extremely irrelevant. It should not have been there. I didn't get that. Do they usually use tables on Dancing with the Stars? Like, it just made zero sense to me. However, I will say, like, in her intro package, when she was talking about her dad, I was so emotionally invested. I got chills, like, talk, like, like almost started tearing up about it. Because Olivia has come such a long way in this competition from being so hated by so many people for the college admissions scandal to where she is now. And I wasn't the biggest fan, Gianna, when she first joined the show. I started to get to know her like in a different way as the season progressed. And I really started to become more invested with her. And I was just like really rooting for her the past couple of weeks more than ever. So I was so upset to see what happened. But I really do feel like she could have used like no table or Val should have just used no table. I think the table was truly the breaking point. What do you think of the table? I agree with you. I think that the table had no business being on mm -hmm. that ballroom floor. No. I mean, and Zach, to remind you, I was a dancer. So I know how this works. I know how to do a nice routine. I know the technical skills that it takes to perform a top scoring routine. So that table, I think, really did like make them go in the have little downfall. Have you ever used the table? I have not. I have used chairs. I have used so many different things. But not only did they use a table, but they used it at the very tail end of the dance. It would be different. We've been yeah. seeing these like grand openings throughout the numbers where they may have a table, they may have some other prop, but the table felt really random. But aside from the table, again, like I said, I thought the dance itself was great she has gotten so much better and i don't know what carrie ann and bruno were saying about like oh more passion more heat like this dance was spicy it was spicy oh, yeah. and there's only so yeah, much that you can do with your partner because i mean val is married to jenna did what what was olivia supposed to do like kiss him in the middle of the dance like there's only so much you can do but yes alas i digress but on top of their regular routines, the couples then had to go head to head with another couple in a dance off where they had the chance to earn two extra bonus points. 
Olivia and Val versed Jojo and Jenna as they all danced a rumba to That's the Way Love Goes with Carrie Ann as their judge. Now, this is the first time both couples have been faced with a rumba, and Olivia actually felt nervous to be up against Jojo. Jenna was also going up against her husband, Val, so it was a real-life couples battle as well. With both couples having a great performance, Carrie Ann had a difficult time choosing a winner, but ended up picking Jojo. This ultimately kept Olivia and Val at the bottom of the leaderboard. Zach, I have to know, as much as we do love Olivia, we can't be biased, do you think Carrie Ann made the right decision when awarding JoJo the bonus points? I do. I think JoJo is the best dancer on the show. I mean, she quite literally grew up on a dance show. I just don't understand why Val and Olivia had to go up against JoJo and Jenna at this point for this competition. They couldn't have saved that towards the end. I was really hoping that those two couples would come down to like the final two couples because yes, they're married, Val and Jenna. But also it's like, it's not fair for Olivia to go up against Jojo. They should have mixed it up. Maybe put someone against Iman or Amanda. This was not what we wanted. We wanted to really build up the suspense because these have been the two most talked about couples since the beginning, I would say. But I do think when it came down to it and when the dance came down to it, Olivia was probably a little intimidated going up against Jojo because she is such a powerful dancer. And Jojo has so much confidence on stage. Like even when the judges tried to call out Jojo um, about the gimmicks and she was like, gimmicks, I like gimmicks. Like it's like Jojo can just kind of talk back to the judges because she has that leverage. And I almost feel like Jojo is just such a shoe in to win this competition. And now that Olivia and Val are gone, like I don't even know who else has a chance besides Jojo and Jenna? Do you, are you on the same page with me here? I'm totally on the same page with you. I thought the same thing. Like why put Olivia against Jojo? We obviously know that her and Jojo are both like the top contenders in this competition. But I think that's the reason they did it. If you did put Jojo with Iman, no offense, it would have blown him out of the water. And I love him to death, but like it just would have been an easy battle and an easy win for Jojo. I think that they honestly did Olivia a favor. I think she should be honored to have gone against Jojo because it was the producers and the judges thinking, you know, she's on the same playing field as Jojo. And as you said, oh. Jojo has been a dancer her whole life. So the fact that they're like, okay, Olivia is on that same level really says a lot about what they think about her talent. And I mean, it, it's proof is in the pudding. She's been doing amazing. She's been getting those high scores. She's been right under JoJo on the leaderboard. So I think that's why they did it. But I agree with you. Gotcha. JoJo did take the cake on that one. But it's a given. JoJo's a great dancer. But when it did come down to the double elimination, the bottom three couples were Melora and Arden, Jimmy and Emma, and Olivia and Val. Tyra revealed that the couple with the lowest combined scores and viewer votes would be eliminated first, and it did end up being Olivia and Val. The whole audience legitimately gasped before giving them a standing ovation, and all of the judges revealed how shocking it was to see them go. Well, I think that the reason Olivia and Val went home is because they did have a lot of low votes, maybe from like everyone voting. But I also think their scores were lower like overall than Jimmy's because I think Jimmy scored lower like la on last night's episode, but Olivia and Val scored lower overall throughout the competition. So that's why they were sent home. And Val knew it too when they were in the bottom three. He was like ready to announce. Like, he knew the judges were going to announce his name. I wasn't surprised that Jimmy ended up going home in general. I kind of predicted that he was going to go home this week. And I also thought that Melora was going to go home because when she finished her dance, she really wanted to make it a point to thank all the audio people and the sound crew and everyone from behind the scenes. So I thought Melora was really preparing to go home. So in one way, I was shocked that Olivia and Val went home because I thought it was going to be Melora and Jimmy. But then once I saw Val's face, I was like, all right, it's time. And it was shocking. I really thought that they were going to make it at least one more week. I didn't know if they would win. But I mean, it's still so shocking. The last few weeks of Dancing with the Stars get so beyond intense. You forget how intense it gets every year until it's the last few weeks. And then it's like all bets are off. Oh, totally. I mean, love Olivia or hater. We were all shocked to see her go. I mean, my jaw legitimately hit the ground. And like I was gasping with the audience, too. But do you think that she actually deserved to be eliminated? I mean, she was even in the bottom two a few weeks ago after getting 
a perfect score. Mm-hmm. And now she's gone. I mean, I know that she got kind of a bit of a lower score this week, but she has been on top this entire season. And she was one of the best dancers, undoubtedly. So we have to remember, like, this is a dancing competition. It, it should be judged based yeah. on dancing and not your character. So I personally don't think that she deserved to go home. I mean, what? how do you feel about that? I mean, yeah, a huge part of the competition is dancing and how you improve, but it's also a popularity contest and fans are voting all over. And I don't know if Olivia's baggage and what she brought into this competition was going to win everyone over. Yes, as she has shown tremendous growth throughout her journey, I was very hesitant to root for her in the beginning and then I found myself rooting for her. But that doesn't mean that everyone else in America is going to want to root for Olivia because... She did, you know, her parents bought her way into college. And even though we love her and we see the growth, we cannot forget that. You know, we are college graduates ourselves. So many other people are. We worked hard for our degrees. And it really did set a bad precedent on Olivia that, you know, even if it was her parents, like she still was the one that went to college knowing that it was a sham and that she took those fake rowing pictures. So yes, she moved on. Yes, we've all moved on. She's grown. We're happy for her. But that might not be enough for some people considering how large this scandal was in the press. So I'm glad that Olivia got her redemption story because I do feel like she has been able to win a lot of people over, but just not everyone, but just not everyone to win the competition as a whole. Yeah, and you know what? To that, I say if her parents were on Dancing with the Stars, then vote them off. I know Olivia was involved in it, but this girl has taken accountability. I mean, we haven't really seen much of her before that college scandal. I mean, I wasn't following her really on our YouTube or our social media platforms at all. And now we are seeing her personality. We are seeing her shine. And I think that she's such a great girl. She's been such a great dancer. Again, this is a dance competition, even though in reality it is a popularity contest, but she's been a great dancer. She's been a great sport to everybody. And I think she's just this like positive energy. And, you know, I was in the same boat as you. I wasn't rooting for her at first whatsoever, but then I took my thoughts about her and kind of just put them to the side and was like, I'm going to judge her primarily off of how she acts in this competition and how she performs. And I think that everyone else should have done the same, but clearly that did not happen. And she is no longer on this competition. I am very sad about it. I know Zachary is as well, but we will just have to keep up with her and her new podcast and all of her socials instead. And then maybe she will be on another reality show. Who knows? But that is all we have for you guys until next week as we enter the semifinals. Let us know if you think Olivia deserved to be eliminated or not down in the comments below. And again, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you do not miss out on any future videos. I'm your host, Gianna Gravelisi, joined by the lovely Zachary Reality. If you want to give us a follow and come say hello, our social handles are on the screen right now. And give us a follow on TikTok too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.